Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how to find the under root of 1.21. So it is very easy to find the under root of 1.21 on most of the student confused in such questions. So it is very easy to find the under root of 1.21. So we can write 1.21 is 121 or 100, right? Now we will factorize 121 which is equal to 11 times 11 divided by 10 times 10, right? Which is equal to 11 square over 10 square. So we can write 121 over 100 is equal to 11 square divided by 10 square, right? Now we will take the under root of both sides. Now we see that 11 square can be written as separated and 10 square can be written as separated under root. So we will cancel the square with the square root and the square with the square root which is equal to 11 over 10, right? So 121 over 100 whole under root is equal to 11 over 10 which is equal to 1.1 because whenever we are dividing 11 by 10 the decimal point from this position comes left to the left side and it become 1.1 so the under root of 1.21 is equal to 1.1 right that is the final answer in this example, we are finding the under root of 47.61. So again, it is very easy to find the under root of such number with decimals. So we will take the number 47.61. So 47.61 is equal to 4761 over 100, right? Now we will factorize this 4761. So do we will do the factorization of 4761. So 4761 can be divided by 3. So 1587. 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 5 is 15 3 times 8 is 18 and 3 times 7 is 21 right 3 times 5 is 15 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 2 9 is 27 right now here we see that 529 cannot be divided by 3 so we will divide it by 23 because the square of 23 is equal to 529 so 23 times 23 is equal to 529 right no 23 can be divided by only 23 so 23 times 1 is 23 now we will write 4000 as 4761 as the product of its prime vectors right so 4761 is equal to 3 times 3 times 23 times 23 right now we will do the factorization of 100 so 100 can be divided by 2 so 2 times uh, 50 is 102 times 25 is 50 5 times 5 is 25 and 5 times 1 is 25 right now we will write the factorization of 100 is so 100 is equal to 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 right now here we see that we will make pair of these prime vectors so this is one pair this another pair this is first pair and this is second pair so we can write as 4761 as 3 square multiplied by 23 square, right? And 100 as 2 square multiplied by 5 square, right? Now we will write this square with uh, instead of this number, right? 
so we will write 4761 over 100 is equal to 3 square multiplied by 23 square divided by 2 square multiplied by 5 square right we will take the under root of both sides now we can cancel these this square with this this square root with will cancel both of these squares so 3 times 23 over 2 times 5 is equal to 69 over 10 right so the under root of 4761 over 100 is equal to 69 over 10 which can be written as 6.9 so the under root of 47 over 6 1 is equal to 6.9 so that is the final answer that the under root of 47.61 is equal to 6.9 in this example we are finding the under root of 0 0.1089 so again it is very easy to find the under root of such number so we can write 0 0.1089 as 1089 divided by 10,000 right now here we see that we will do the factorization of 1089 and 10,000 by prime factorization method so first of all we will do the factorization of 1089 so 1089 can be divided by 3 so 3 times 336 so 3 times 363 is equal to 1089 or simply 3 times 3 is 9 right 1 will be transferred to 8 and it will become 18 so 3 times 6 is 18 and 3 times 3 is 9 right no 363 can be divided by 3 again so 3 times 121 is equal to 363 so 3 121 cannot be divided by 3 so we will divide 121 by 11 so 11 times 11 is 121 and 11 times 1 is 11 right so we will write 1089 as the product of its prime vector so 1089 is equal to 3 times 3 times 11 times 11 right now we do the factorization of 10,000 so 10,000 can be divided by 2 it is equal to 5,000 right again 5,000 can be divided by 2 which is equal to 2,500 2, right no, again 2500 can be divided by 2 so 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 times 0 is 0 right now again 1250 can be divided by 2 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 times 25 is 50 now here we see that 625 cannot be divided by 2 so we will divide 625 by 5 so 5 times 125 is equal to 625 and 5 times 25 is equal to 125 5 times 5 is 25 and 5 times 1 is 5 right right now these are the prime pictures of 10,000 so we will write 10,000 is the product of its prime vector. So 10,000 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Right? 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Right? Now we will make pair of these prime vectors. So here we see that this is one pair and this is the second pair. This is the first pair, this is the second pair, this is the first pair, and this is the second pair. So we will write 1089 as 3 square multiplied by 11 square and 10,000 which is equal to 2 square multiplied by 2 square multiplied by 5 square multiplied by 5 square, right?
now we will put these values and this equation right so 0 0.1089 is equal to 3 square multiplied by 11 square right divided by 2 square multiplied by 2 square multiplied by 5 square multiplied by 5 square right now we will take the under root of both sides right so under root 0 0.1089 under root is equal to 3 square multiplied by 11 square under root divided by 2 square under multiplied by 2 square multiplied by 5 square multiplied by 5 square under root right now we can write 3 square under root multiplied by 11 square under root divided by 2 square under root multiplied by 2 square under root multiplied by 5 square under root multiplied by 5 square under root maybe we'll cancel out this square by this square root this square by this square root and this square by this square root this square by this square root this square by this square root and this square by this square root which is equal to 3 times 11 divided by 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 right where is equal to 33 divided by 100 right so the under root of 0 0.1089 is equal to 33 over 100 which is equal to 0 0.33 so the under root of 0 0.1089 as equal to 0 0.33 right that is the final answer so thank you for watching our video if you have liked our video subscribe to our youtube channel for more such interesting videos